The Irish brogue inspires the imagination. Every few years a new movie is released that features the Irish and new audiences discover the appealing nature of this fascinating dialect. St. Patrick's comes each March and many a pint are raised while drinkers attempt their best Irish brogue. Unless you have a knack for it or some training, you're likely to fall short. So whether you're looking to be in the next popular movie that celebrates the Irish or you hope to garner admiration, this tutorial should be of service. This lesson is designed to help you speak with a marvellous Irish brogue. I'll start by going over key vowel and consonant changes, then I'll apply them to a short text. Our vowels rise in pitch. Perfect. Starved. Weren't. Years. In American, pronounces our endings by descending in pitch. Perfect. Starved. Weren't. Years. In fact, the falling in pitch is one of the most distinctive aspects of the American accent. The Irishman pronounces our endings by rising in pitch. This characteristic contributes to the common belief that the Irish brogue has a sing-song quality. It really doesn't, but the rising in pitch on our endings does have an upward lilt. Perfect. Starved. Weren't. Years. The short U becomes O as in look, adjusting, become, cluttered, much, some. A vowel change such as this is the primary strategy that actors employ when learning an accent. The challenge is to identify the words that need to change. As you work on the Irish brogue, your ability to spot these key vowel changes should improve, as well as your skill level when it comes to replacing key vowels with their Irish counterparts. The long I becomes I, decided, idly, life, pile. The following speech concerns a husband brooding about his cluttered apartment and the recent loss of a neglected pet. I wouldn't worry very much about the content of the monologue. If I were you, I'd fixate on the vowel and consonant changes we just went over. Our one bedroom flat didn't become cluttered overnight. Amanda and I spent years trolling shops for the perfect coffee table. We hunted used bookstores for acting manuals to pile into our wall-to-wall -wall shelves. I like to say that our clutter would live beyond our lifetime. We weren't very responsible when it came to pets. As I was cooking dinner one night, I noticed our goldfish belly up in its tank. Adjusting the straps of my apron, I idly considered whose fault it was the fish had starved. Neither of us had shown much interest. Amanda had brought it home only to neglect it. I had promised to sprinkle some powder into its bowl, so I figured the blame was probably mine. Looking at life that way, just taking the heat, kept things simple. To reap the benefits of this lesson, I suggest going over it a few times, trying out the words yourself, the quickest way to unlock your potential is to dare the text aloud, experimenting and playing with the accent. The Irish. The Irish are known for many things, and one of their most endearing characteristics is their inherent joyful nature. It is with that spirit that I urge you to approach this task. Best of luck with your Irish brogue.